Yeah, so speaking of explosions, <laughs> it's time to bring on Caleb Brook, our featured artist of the week. She's exploding right now. Uh, live from Vancouver. Uh, yeah, Rob, you don't have to stop. Okay, I'm talking to myself. Uh, Caleb Brook, what's up, everyone? What's up, Kayla? How you doing? Hey, hi from Vancouver. I'm good. I'm good. Happy to be here. Thanks for asking me. Yeah, yeah, of course. We're uh, happy to have you. Uh, we checked out your song Plush Red Chair a few months back and reviewed it on the website and been promoting that and stuff. And uh, now's your time to come back as a featured artist because uh, you stu- stood out to me uh, over, you know, the past few months and stuff because we literally get hundreds of submissions, uh, you know, every month. Um, so what song are we going to – why don't you tell us a little bit about you and who you are and uh, the song It's It's Over? Is that the name we're going to listen to? That's the one we're going to listen to today, yeah, because last time I was on, um, you said that it sounded like I would be great in a lounge, which made me kind of chuckle, because I really, you know, can I'm quite a whaler when I want to be, so that was just kind of funny, so I thought that in the next song that I would give you a little something different. I call cool. myself the jazz rock, blue jean and heels vocal powerhouse from Vancouver, yeah. nice. and that pretty well describes who I am. I infuse jazz with a lot of the stuff that I do, but I can cover anything from jazz and pop to rock to funk to blues to gospel to whatever. So this next song, Secret, Don't Tell Anybody, I wrote it about my ex-husband, I know, um, very uh, t- Taylor Swift. But, uh, you know, sometimes you're in a relationship and, and uh, you have to actually just say, you know what, it's over. And you have to kind of really say that. And so oh, wait, he's calling into the show right now. He has to say something. Uh, I bet he is, yeah. <laughs> cool. So let's go ahead and listen to It's Over, which is not about your husband. I mean, about your ex-husband. Um, and <laughs> no. no. I'm just kidding. No, and it's so, it's- uh, we're going to break the secret, and then we'll come back and deep with Dave. Okay. Yes. I mean, so Joe and I just heard this song for the first time, which is, you know, it's a little off what we usually do. So I'm going to need to double the time of the interview, Joe. I need about 20 minutes. <laughs> um, that was really cool. I mean, that, that was kind of the blues rock style, which which I have not heard yet. Uh, plush Red Chair. Plush Red Chair. Red chair. That's, yeah. that's right. That's the Same jazzy the lounge music. type that's of right. styling. Yeah. but. Both of them together is what kind of equates to Delicious in some ways. But so 
after hearing this, it adds a bunch more bunch more references here because I'm reading your bio uh, earlier today, and there's a few references in there I don't agree with. I mean, it's like comparisons to Adele, uh, Janis Joplin. I like I don't hear that. I don't hear those references. But what I do hear from plush red chairs definitely Diana Crowell. I mean, you must have heard that at some yeah. point. Yeah. Yeah. But I think it's with with me uh, because I sing. Uh, you really have to listen to a few songs to get a real flavor for what I do, okay. because I can uh, change my voice and change my stylings to go with whatever thing. I'm very at home in each genre that I'm singing in, but there is a soulful thread that goes through everything that I do. So I hear you. Um, and so. Some of those, I get asked all the time, would you ever do a show about Janis Joplin? Because my God, because I, cause I really can wail when I want to. And uh, I do get the Diana Krall thing too, because I get that. And, and when I'm doing straight ahead jazz and the standards and things like that, most definitely it fits in with that. Okay, but I hear you. I mean, with, with I guess I, I understand the Adele part just because of the strength and the power in her voice. But with the song that we just listened to, Another name that popped in my head was Ann Wilson from Heart. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Yeah, is, is she an yeah, influence yeah. Or, uh, of yours uh, from the past? Uh, not a huge influence, my, but, but uh, definitely so. I think that when it comes down to it, when I sit and I write, I really just, it's whatever comes out and whatever I'm feeling at that moment. And uh, I'm the sum of all my pieces. I mean, I, I, my mom was... Um, you know, she was a big band and Liza, or not Liza, excuse me, Judy Garland. And my dad was country music and I was brought up in gospel music. And, you know, and then I had the, the music of my day that really influenced as well as I sat for hours in my room listening to Ella Fitzgerald and, and Barbara Streisand and all of these kind of people when I, was, when I was younger. And so those are my real influences to what it is that I do. And um, I just... I'm, I'm comfortable in each of them so I can sit and do a country tune and it'll still, they all fit together. It doesn't, it sounds as though it's very disjointed, but it's not because I'm at home and uh, because it's a natural part of me and because my soulfulness always shines through uh, the thread works and gotcha. the music all works together. So. All right. So there's a part of the bio that I'd love for you to kind of fill the gaps here um, sure. just because of, how much she influenced you, the name mm -hmm. Eva Cassidy, which I have not heard of until I read this today. So what do you say in the bio? It's like that was the game changer at an early age. So you want to just say a few words about that time? Uh, yeah, you know, it was uh, my massage therapist. She kept saying to me, I got to listen to Eva Cassidy. And I just would roll my eyes as I was on the table thinking, you know, what does my massage therapist know about music? <laughs> but I well, and that's, you know, ridiculous, but at the same time, that's, that's how I felt. So finally, just to shut her up, I decided to Google Eva Cassidy. What year was it? I thought this was when you were 14. No, 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 oh, no. I okay. was singing professionally. I was singing professionally since I was 14, but a number of years ago, uh, I decided to, to check Eva out. She died when she was 33 at, in 1998. And uh, so anyways, I was mesmerized. I spent hours, like probably about four or five hours in a row on YouTube, just going from one clip to the next. And I couldn't get her out of my mind. And I finally sat down and I wrote a show about her. And then I just hired some of the best musicians that I knew here in Vancouver. And uh, we, I wrote the show in May of 2013. We were up and performing it in September of 2013, which is just incredible because I had no money at the time, nothing. It was just a dream and everything fell into place. And I toured that and her music was just a huge, I, I got her because she, she liked to do interesting takes on covers, which I enjoy doing. She infused jazz into a lot of stuff that she did, that she did which I uh, loved doing. She was in a vocal powerhouse. She has an amazing voice, much better than mine. But uh, I loved uh, performing that show, and uh, it, was, it was really great and well-received. As you're talking here and we're talking about the influences, I'm, I'm feeling like you should – in part of your set list or maybe just one special show that you do, you mm -hmm. actually do a cover of all of these names, like one song from Adele, one song from Janis Joplin, one song from Heart. One so, have fun. you ever done that? 
Uh, you know, no, I haven't, but that's a good idea. That, yeah. Actually, I was, I was, I'll take 5% of, of the door yeah. for that idea. <laughs> I was, you know, that I was actually thinking of that, of, um, for a live concert that I was doing, I thought I was actually thinking I might do a few influences and pull, uh, you know, do one of each. Turner. I mean, I think that would be amazing. That would be fun. Yeah. People yeah. would like that. Yeah. It would be fun. And, and show many, a lot of different sides. Yeah, and then we're trying to push you to do a collaboration with Dizzy, one of our past featured oh, artists. Oh, yeah. he's such a he's such a great guy. I I just uh, love him, and we've become friends and uh, good friends actually. And uh, I would love to do Dizzy. I'd love to do a, a collaboration with you. Let's hook up. All right, it's official now. All right, okay. so we're gonna move on here soon. So where where can people find you? Well, let me say the website. It's kaylabrook.com. That's c a y l a b r o o k e. dot com. Uh, what about social media? Are you active? Uh, yeah, for the well, just not in the last couple of weeks, just because it's been busy. But uh, usually, uh, yeah, I'm official Kayla Brook on Instagram because I'm official. And um, <laughs> what else? And I'm Kayla Brook on Facebook, so that's easy to find. You don't want to All follow right. me on Twitter. <laughs> awesome. Well, like Joe said before the show, you got to come back and be a panel guest. Uh, I would love that. Offer your opinions on some of the other tunes that we play. But beautiful. Yeah. Have a have a pleasant evening. We will be talking to you soon, Kayla. Thanks so okay. much. Thank you so much for having me on. I appreciate it.